Hey guys, Olga Sobi here and recently I got a several requests from you to do a chameleon cells technique because it's been several months since I did it the last time and oh my god, you are so right. I actually miss this technique a lot and today totally time to fix that. Um, I want to do the mosaics effect with chameleon cells technique. Uh, this is probably my favorite thing to do with um, chameleon cells because I really like the structure and also the spiral movement. So yeah, thank you so much for reminding me about it and let's get started. So for this technique, I'm not gonna add any silicone in the colors. I'm gonna pour the colors straight from the bottle. Also for chameleon cells, always make sure to check the level of your canvas and level is important for any acrylic pouring technique but for chameleon cells it's extremely important because if you want your cells to stay in place and not shift to one side and keep this nice mosaic like look yeah level is crucial so Anyways, today I want to start with the turquoise color. I got a new color. I didn't even open it yet. I think it's a new color in this line. At least I didn't see it before in uh, our local Michael stores. So I have never used any type of blue or turquoise in the center for this particular technique. So let's start with that. If you guys want to check the names of the colors that I'm using and uh, other supplies, there's always details in the description. Okay, I'm gonna try doing it this way, see if it's any better. No, it's <laughs> not really. Now I can't remember which way it was. I don't need to add a whole lot of color on the corners because I'm gonna swipe my colors from the inside out. So I'm gonna have enough colors to cover the sides, but just trying to make it nice and even. I also wanna add a little bit of white here and there. These paints dry quite dark, definitely darker than they look right now. So we need to keep that in mind when using them. Especially some colors dry really dark, like this blue. Okay, I also want to add a touch of gold. I really like this gold, how it looks when dry. It's really beautiful. I think this looks pretty nice and bright so far. So for swiping, I'm using just a little spatula. I used to do this without Slazy Susan and it was definitely much harder. So if you want to try this technique, I highly recommend getting it or making one for yourself. It's really helpful for this technique. Okay, just need to uh, finish up corners. So I'm going to swipe them with the paint that I have on my spatula. Okay. 
All right, so far so good. I really like it. And this paint is also very transparent, so you can already see layers and layers of colors in here. So the chameleon cells should work pretty well, I hope. So I'm just adding a little bit of silicone to the, my bowl. Silicone, it's a little silicone cup. Uh, this is actually even too much. You need a tiny bit. And I'm gonna dip a toothpick and create little cells. And I'm going to start in the center. I'm using a very small amount of silicone, really don't need the whole lot. And as I go, I'm going to dip my toothpick in the silicone. Every, I don't know, maybe 10 dips. I think this technique is absolutely perfect for round surfaces, uh, round canvases or like vinyl discs, but unfortunately I don't have any at the moment. But yeah, you can see uh, the paint spreading out a little bit, so some of the cells are shifting to the side. Not sure if you can see it on the other side, but yeah, this is what's happening. And that's completely normal, that's what paint does. It tries to... Um, level out a little bit, but it will eventually stop um, shifting to the sides because this paint by Artislow begins to dry pretty fast. So when it does, it will stop from spreading out. Man, this is just so bright. There are so many different color combos of cells. I love it. This is what I like about this swiping first and doing these chameleon cells because, uh, you know, it creates so many multicolor cells and this is like the best thing for me. I just love it. It's so bright. And uh, don't underestimate the power of silicone. These cells will grow a little bit for next 10, 15 minutes. So even if they're small, um, some of them will keep growing, so you need to definitely consider that. Okay, but some cells need help. I had very little silicone on the toothpick. I'm going to add a little bit here. Okay, some cells right here, they look like a weather forecast. Can you see that? <laughs> Storm's coming up. Watch out, it's a cell storm. Okay, while the outside cells slowly growing, oh man, this center is just beautiful. Kind of reminds me a turtle. Okay, guys, I don't know if you can see, but the drips that are coming down are just fantabulous. <laughs> they are as beautiful as the canvas. So pretty. I'm definitely going to let them dry and use them for my jewelry. If you want to find out how to create acrylic skins jewelry, if you haven't done it before, I have a tutorial on my website for that. I'm gonna link it down below. The only downside is there is a little bit of silicone in the paint, so that might be a problem, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Guys, I'm looking for name ideas. Drop the name idea in the comment below. 
This is something so happy for me. Very happy, very summer-like, very tropical. Wow, I just love it. Okay, let me bring you for a close-up because there are, some of these cells are just amazing. These cells, look at this, totally looks like a weather forecast, especially right here, <laughs> right? I really like how the center looks. It's so soft and then all the brightness and boldness comes out. Okay, so here are the uh, drips I was telling about. Aren't they pretty? Oh my gosh. Such a cool effect, right? Well, let me know what you think. I'm looking for name ideas. And also let me know what are the other color combinations you would like to see for chameleon cells. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Happy pouring. Bye bye.